we are going to enhance this application further as of now we had added the features to the employee page let me click on this navigation and we had modified this navigation menu now let us go to this department page on clicking of that departments menu from the navigation it will open the department hyphen start page here we are going to add few chart we had seen how to work with the components from common fields collection layout elements this time we are going to see charts let me drag and drop this bar chart over here you can work with any of the charts from here i am considering for demonstration purpose this bar chart in this i am going to populate the data that is in the bar chart with the help of departments business object in your business use case you could populate the data from the database you could get the data from the integration or any web service so for simplicity purpose for demonstration i will plot how many employees are there that is the count of employees in the location for that particular department also i will add one more bar chart in which i will plot the total salary provided in every location for their respective departments now let me switch over to this department start page select this bar chart over here go to quick start click on add data we had seen how we can manually add the data with the help of sdp adp also we had seen how to add the data with the help of quick start so here i am considering the quick start method select the department click on next on y axis i want the count of employees on x axis i want the location wise number of employees and in the color i am putting the department's name where is this it's over here click on next and click on finish One of the great feature of Visual Builder is as soon as you configure the details for any chart or any component, it will reflect over here instantly like in design or in the live mode. Now let me switch over to design mode. So this is for one of the case. So let me drop one more bar chart over here that is below the first bar chart. So here let me populate the data. Select this bar chart. Go to quick start. Click on add data. Select the department. You can select any other business object or web service if you have created in your application. This time I am going to plot the total salary in y axis against the location color I want to keep same that is based on department. Primary key if you want to change you can modify. Suppose if you want to create events on click of a bar then you can add few more details on the row data so that you can propagate it to some events or do any other stuff accordingly. Click on next and click on finish. As soon as you tab out, you will see the bar chart getting populated. Let us now preview this in the new browser window. So once the page has been loaded in the browser, apparently you can test this in your mobile device as well as we had already installed this PWA app in our mobile. I am testing this with the browser. I am clicking on this navigation, clicking on department. As soon as this page loads, the data is getting populated. You can scroll down or up and if you want to change the view of the device, like if I don't want to test this in Apple or I want to test this in Android device, be it Samsung or Google, so I can do. Also, if you want to test how this mobile application will look in a desktop, you can just toggle this to desktop. This is how it will look in the desktop. So it has opened the employee page for us. Now let us go to department. Yeah, this is how it will look in the desktop. Let me toggle it back to our Apple device, iPhone 12. Let me open the inspect as well, side by side. Now let me toggle to department. Just select this and select the department from the navigation list. Now here if you see, it has made two calls in order to fetch the department details. Our bar chart is getting populated from the same business object and with the same data. So in our next class, we will learn how we can minimize the redundant calls which are made to any integration web service or business object so that we can decrease the number of calls being made to the services and save the cost of our customer. Here is the big announcement for our subscribers and viewers. We are launching membership program for Binam Learning. You may now join Binam Learning as a member and get exclusive perks or the rewards. In order to know more or join and be a member, you need to go to our channel. After landing into our channel page, you need to click on this join. When you click on join, you will get various membership plans 
Accordingly, you can select and unlock the perks or the rewards which are available for that particular membership. For more details, you can anytime come over to our page and click on this join button. Similar steps you can follow over the phone as well. You can go to our channel, there you will find the join button. You need to click and check the memberships and select one among the many and become a member of Venom Learning channel. It includes various perks like exclusive videos only for members, early access of videos to members and lot of other perks available. If you are happy with our content and want to thank us or support us, you can straight away come to this link and you can buy us a coffee like 1, 3, 5. So these numbers are equivalent to US dollars. If you want to buy more coffees, you can just enter the number over here and click on buy. We would like to thank all our subscribers, viewers and members for showing your support and constantly helping us by giving your valuable feedback so that we bring good content to you regularly. Thank you once again and happy learning.